Hello, hello guys, what is going on? Phoenix61 here with some Legends shenanigans. So we are in the California today, right? Like this is one of my favorite um, tier 5 uh, ships to play. Um, got a decent win percentage with this. I can't say off the top of my head what it is, but I think it's probably like high 60% or something like that, yeah. Um, and a lot of that comes to just partly because it is a premium ship and a lot of times when I am playing as it I am specifically like trying very hard to get the win right like sometimes I'm like man it's not a big deal like I did a, I had a good game right it's not yeah but so I have kind of an interesting game here that really like at first here that like you know where it's kind of boring and kind of kind of slow moving and the momentum seemed to go in my team's favor until like sort of the last, I don't know, four or five minutes of the game, right? Like, it, be, it turns into a real close one, which I was, like, not expecting, and maybe that's partly my own fault for not paying attention to what was, like, or at least paying enough attention, like, how much health my teammates had and stuff is what it really came down to. Um, but anyway, so we know there's, there's two destroyers on the enemy team, right? So there's a good chance there's at least one over here, especially since we got spotted pretty quickly, but... And then, yes, there absolutely is one now that there's a smoke screen in front of us here. Um, but this California, he's, uh, you know, I, I held off firing at him because he did start to turn out for us a little bit. So we have a little bit better angle on him, right? These, uh, um, they're, they're tough cookies, right? Like, Californians can take a beating, right? And that's partly why we play this one. <laughs> um, but we know we're going to have to do some maneuvering and some course changing because... Whatever destroyer's in there that we can see, I take a blind shot at him here. I think we do get a hit. Let me see. Yeah, we got. We did get an overped, like so. That was worth it, right? But yeah, so we we did some maneuvering because we knew he would be sending torpedoes, right? So, um, and then you know because of that, he looked like he sent must have sent them right on the edge of his range. Um, like from like if we were to keep going straight at him, we maybe would have hit him. But then they, of course, because we turned and which slowed us down, and that they died out before they got to us, right? So we've got ourselves turned away while we work through trying to get rid of this California. I will absolutely help shoot destroyers when my teammates spot these guys. Um, you know, destroyers as a battleship, destroyers are one of your biggest threats, right? Like so, it's nice to get get those off the board. I know it always kind of feels like. You're not doing crazy damage to him, right? You're like, oh, my big guns could do more damage numbers against, you know, cruisers and battleships. Well, percentage-wise, you're taking a big chunk, a big percent out of that ship's health pool, right? And so getting them down faster is just, you know. I always say, like, if you want to win games, like, get those destroyers off the board as fast as possible, right? Like, if you, if you want the win, right, like, stop everything you're doing and murder it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so now we're free to help out with this California here. It was kind of like sucked that we lo did lose our destroyer there, even though we had killed theirs off first, right? But he was probably just still spotted um, from firing his guns at the enemy destroyer, right? So, um, but yes, yeah, so this California has been distracted and hasn't been shooting at us. So I'm going to take advantage and start turning back in towards him. And that's probably when he was, you know, he's probably paying attention, right? He says, like, oh, there's this battleship's broadside now, right? So then he does start, you know, focusing on us at that point, right? Uh, but yeah, he's got, I mean, if you look at the mini-map, he's got a cruiser broadside to him, right? <laughs> so I was kind of surprised he, uh, I was still kind of surprised he came and shot, shot back at us, right? But he is kind of, you know, a little bit surrounded at this point, right? So he's kind of screwed. It's just a matter of time before we can, you know, between the three or four of us that are over here can whittle him down. And I think this is what, like, made me feel like the momentum was so much in our favor, but I think the reality ended up being the other side of the map um, gets kind of overrun by the red team, right? So first kill there, and then we see a Tiger way out in the distance, right? Nice and broadside, so that's kind of tempting to shoot towards him. And then, yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on the map here and looking at what else is out there. So yeah, so I was like, well, Tiger is kind of at range. I mean, this Bayern is too, but I'm like, well, if I can shoot this, you know, I got more guns, I can shoot this direction, right, without going broadside to everybody else. So, and I'll try and help out my teammates here too with this Bayern, right? So I've still got a decent health pool. I can still take some good hits. Let's help out, yep. Yeah. Whether they needed it, or needed it or not, I don't know after that torpedo hit there. But yeah, so I saw that and I was like, alright man, we're cleaning up on my side. 
they're cleaning up over there. But we're only, I mean, I don't want to say only, but like we're up two ships too at this point, right? But we don't have the point, we don't have the, well, we have the points at the moment, but they have two zones comparison to our one. So I'm like, all right, let's go help with the sea cap. Whether or not I actually can make it in there before it gets captured by like our destroyer and cruiser is, you know, yet to be seen, but <laughs> we'll, we'll head towards it to try and help out, right? Yeah, I just didn't quite lead that tiger enough. We'll wait um, a little bit here to try and turn. Well, if this DeGrasse is going to go broadside for us, we'll take our shot at him. Yeah, I was trying to get the rear turrets to swing back around to the right side of the ship, right? And, uh, but now we're going to shoot at this guy, so it's gonna they're going to start moving left again. It's just fine. A whole lot of one over penetration there. <laughs> so now you do use the overhead camera like that because it'll keep your your aim in the same place it was when you went into overhead camera, right? So if you wanna, if you've got, you know, for battleships, for example, you've got slow moving turrets, right, and you want them to stay on one side of the ship, you can use the overview camera, and they won't they won't turn the direction you're looking while you're in the overview camera. So that's why you see me do that here and there, right? Especially with battleships. It also gives you a little bit different perspective of what's going on in the, on the you know, around you, but only does so much in that area. Much better hit on him there, even though he we didn't have a decent angle. This tiger, I think, like, it's just, like, kind of... I don't know if it's just because he's... He looks like a low-sitting-in-the-water kind of ship, right? And maybe that's why we're... <laughs> we're getting some misses. Yeah, like, one of those shells did go over. I always complain about shells falling short, and then that's why I aim high. Because people tell me occasionally, ever like, hey, you're aiming too high, you're aiming too high. And then I'm like, well, all these shells hit the water before they get to the ship, right? <laughs> Uh, but with this guy, he's he, you know he's kind of sitting low in the water, so we did have shells go over, you know, past him. A little bit more, should be able to finish him off. And then, yeah, as you can see, we, you know, we've lost two more ships through here, but then we've got you know another zone now. So I was kind of like, at this moment, I like felt really good about the game, right? I was like, but you know, reality is, it's four on four four on five like we're still up we're even up one I was like we're good we got this right um, so I'm just paying attention to the mini map and I can see you know there they, they they took out our Pensacola there so now it is four on four right so and it's a um, I think like a British cruiser and then a, another battleship yeah it's a Devonshire and then what I think it was like a jet one of the Japanese battleships out there so I'm like all right these guys on my team these three people on my team like let's see if they can take on the last two guys up here right this destroyer and cruiser and our cruiser was wicked low on health because if this devonshire keeps coming around the corner like this we're gonna have just a wicked awesome shot on him right so um it was too tempting to uh pass up right so try and head this direction fend these guys off but yes we did lose our last cruiser and they still have both of their you know teammates over there on that side right so um, yes, Devonshire makes the mistake of remaining broadside. I'm gonna guess he's trying to send torpedoes, but yeah, we get the devastating strike against him. So we will kind of just keep in mind that there's probably torpedoes coming. Um, it's always hard to tell if he like, you know, if you know, sometimes just just maintaining course and getting up to full speed like can can help you there, right? Like, because it takes every time you turn, you lose some speed, right? So sometimes. Um, just just going straight, plowing straight forward. Sometimes that works, but it's just it's always a guessing game, right? Like you don't know if they intentionally shot short or if they intentionally aimed their torpedoes the exact you know you know suggested aiming line that they received, right? So I took the chance and just kept plowing straight forward, um, seeing as how we took him out, um, and that that ended up working out, right? So the torpedo went right by us, behind us. Tennessee um, is not long for this world, right? So I'm like. Man, like, I took out these two guys. Now, granted, a, a opportunity was there, right, to get rid of that Devonshire from full health to nothing. But, um, and then, of course, the Tennessee is low. But I was like, man, we're losing. I'm losing all my other ships. <laughs> I'm losing all my other ships. 
So we are up on points at the moment, but this game come, really does come down to the wire, and yes, we're at four kills, 100,000 damage. I'm like, this the, I'm like this battleship, he's got good health right now, but there's a destroyer over there, right? So, the, and that destroyer is keeping me spotted at the moment as well, so I know he's gotta be close to our friendly battleship there. So I'm just like, oh man, this is not, not a good situation, right? And it was, you know, I made the decision to keep coming around this way, and I'm in, you know, I'm in a California, right? It's freaking slow. So, like, I was like, this maybe wasn't the best call. But, I'm, you know, I'm like, well, I, I don't want to get torpedoed either, right? So I was kind of hoping that our battleship would just come back towards me. And we could try and just together defend, you know, the the, the, the C and A caps. And then we would, we would walk away with the win, right? Because what's happening right now is, you know, he is spotting the... Um, the cruiser, which is of course low on health, so that'll be advantageous to us when we, if we ever do actually get a shot on him here. But yeah, there's the torpedoes, and so you know our, you know this this battleship here had you know pretty close to full health, and now he's pretty close to dead. You know our allied battleship, right? So then we see just now pop up that the C zone is getting capped. So we know their destroyer is in there, and we actually know he doesn't have line of sight on us because we're not spotted, so we know he's got to be kind of over this little island hump here, right, on the other side of this. So I'm like, I'm going to take a shot here just to guess because it's going to be, you know, probably 30 seconds or so before I can shoot at towards the cruiser anyway. So just took that chance shot. would have been awesome to get something there, right, because I'm like, he's got to be around that area somewhere, right? Like, we'll let's just try it. <laughs> um, yeah. So... But now, like, we're not getting points on that zone, right? So that's that's the problem at this point. Um, the grass must, those must be, whose torpedoes are those? Yeah, those might still, yeah, those are torpedoes still from the destroyer. So the Vispy must be capping the zone and shooting guns and torpedoes at our battleship over there, right? So I'm just like, all right, man, keep this DeGrasse spotted. Just keep him spotted, keep him spotted, keep him spotted. <laughs> And I had switched to HE, which I, at this point, you know, hindsight's 2020, wish I didn't because it'd be nice to be able to shoot AP at this um, ship. Cause you see, we got two hits, and if those were AP rounds, we maybe would have done a little more damage, right? Um, but our, um, yeah, so there goes our, there goes our, my last battleship, right? So it's me versus two, and points are like neck and neck right now, right? So <laughs> and they're exactly the same. So I'm like, I got, not only do I have to get a kill, which this DeGrasse like presents to us, right? Like this is gonna, this is perfect. But I'm also gonna probably have to at least get into the C cap to try to stop them from gaining points there, right? So we'll, even though we know there's a destroyer up there who's definitely gonna be sending torpedoes our way, you know, and could potentially just eliminate, eliminate us and then we lose the game, right? Uh, but yeah, this I'm surprised this DeGrasse didn't just hit reverse how he was before and just let you know and just try and hide um, That's you know, I probably would have just tried to get out of the way and guarantee yourself the win But yeah, he's on fire, but I'm making sure <laughs> He goes down by shooting some more right and he loaded for the destroyer is perfectly fine um, We use our last heal here that did give us a kraken right and then Yep, we're gonna start. Yeah, we're we're turning in because we know that that Vispy is shooting torpedoes towards us, right? So he, there's no way he's not gonna just try and stay out of spotting range, along with um, just keep sending torpedoes, right? That's what I would do. I would try and stay unspotted. I would send torpedoes at this last battleship and try and get the kill, right? So um, you could make the argument for coming into, you know, he should probably come into the A cap, and I think that. Um, if he would have done that, spoiler alert, they would have they would have won, right? But I'm still like I'm in my mind. I'm like I need to get into that C zone, right? I need to get in there. But at the same time, I can't just go right for it, right? I'm so I, I turned to the right here to try and bait some more torpedoes from him, and then so I'm just sailing this course for a minute here, and then I'm gonna turn back left and head directly for the C cap zone because yep, here come the torpedoes, right? So. If I would have just sailed straight for it, which is what he expected, right? <laughs> I would have taken all of those and probably died, right? So um, we made the right call there. There are only 30 seconds left in the game. We're at, we're, they're gaining on me on points right now, right? So I was kind of like, if, you know, we're getting a little bit from A, from having A, 
I'm like, if I can get into the C cap, I can probably, st I would stop them from gaining on the points, right? And then he would have to get the kill. Um, so this just comes literally down to like the last couple of seconds here. So I think if he would have like, so he is out there kind of in the direction that I'm pointing, I believe. Um, but if he would have went into the A cap zone a little sooner, he would have stopped um, us from getting the little bit of points, right? And yeah, so, <laughs> so we just barely won on points there um, with the Kraken. So good, fun game. And I didn't even, you know, my ship so slow, I couldn't quite make it into the zone, but I was like determined to, like I thought maybe I would need it, right? And I ended up, you know, <laughs> literally only a couple of seconds away from needing that, but yeah, so does put us at the top of the leaderboard, 2100 XP. Um, I think we didn't get a whole, you know, it always feels like you get more when you have really good games like that, but I think part of it is because of, you know, there's some tier fours in this match, right? Um, then we walked away with 300 grand in silver. I will show you the build. This is one, um, you know, a lot of my um, hard hitting AP shell American battleships. I do have um, Azure Lane, New Jersey on here, right? So this is, um, uh, the literally the very first paid commander I um, ended up getting right so I do have secondary battery mod on here because um, you know you could go traverse speed I would that would probably be my second choice right but just because like I, I like to play the ship at range like I don't like to get up close and personal um, so um, but then you know if we do then the secondaries have that little bit of range right so and then propulsion mods kind of my go-to for the second slot, right? And that's pretty much all you get because it's it's only tier five, right? Um, so yeah, her base trait is shells that travel over 10 kilometers deal extra damage. So that's kind of part of why, you know, I'm, I just, I grabbed secondary battery instead of, you know, turret traverse speed. Um, and then yeah, we're going, uh, we're like range, shell grouping, accuracy for inspirations, whatever that first guy was, I forget. <laughs> um, but then yeah, here we get uh, more range and accuracy from flammable cannon here. Of course, you have a little bit more risk of fire there. That's the trade off. Um, I wouldn't complain if you went either of these, right? But yeah, I do AP shell damage for that one. Um, we sacrifice a little bit more tra traverse speed. And then I go here for, you know, to kind of mitigate some of the negative effects that we've picked <laughs> along the way here. But you could pick on second thought. Um, I don't switch between HE and AP too much. A lot of times if I do, I'm just firing what I have loaded and then switching. Um, but you do get the five second or five percent reload time better there, right? So, and then of course her unique perk is the steal more damage with Citadel strikes, and then I um, have a tendency to um, patronize um, will to rebuild for the legendary perk. But I think fight fire with fire is always a good option as well. Um, don't quite have her ranked all the way up to sixteen and four, um, but you know it works. Works pretty good, right? So that is our pretty epic California game last second win those are always the ones that i um, have the most fun with and, and love sharing with you guys so make sure you follow the channel um we're doing legends videos pretty much every day um and then we do occasionally live stream thank you to all those people who watch me there as well and yeah we will see you next time